13-year-old Ali Tumblin was born without a right ear. When insurance denied coverage for her bone-anchored hearing aid, she decided to do something about it. Today, Ali's act was reintroduced into Congress. It's a bipartisan bill that would help kids and adults access hearing devices and surgeries that allow them to hear. Here's reporter Courtney Yoon. Dear Congressman Joe Negus, We first met Allie Tumblin more than three years ago when she wrote a letter to her representative. My name is Allie Tumblin and I am in the third grade. She's now in the seventh grade and is still fighting for the right to hear. I was born without my right ear and no ear canal. Insurance denied coverage for a bone anchored hearing device that Allie needs to be able to hear properly. It's cute. She has her little scribbles and... Allie was in school today, but her mom, Melissa Tumblin, says her daughter's letter to D.C. inspired Allie's Act, a bipartisan bill that was reintroduced on Thursday. It would cover the cost of the device itself and upgrade every five years. The proposed law would also ensure that private insurance companies cover the cost of surgery for an implant, post-op care, as well as one ENT and audiology appointment per year for children and adults up to age 64. I've watched family after family fight and be denied for coverage for these hearing devices. Traditional hearing aids don't help people like Allie. She needs a bone anchored hearing device that can cost five to $12,000 each. A lot of times insurance providers will tell families, well, we're denying you this claim because one good ear is good enough. But it's not good enough, according to Tumblin, especially for young children developing vocabulary and language skills. You can absolutely be at risk for speech delays. And so that was part of Allie's problem. Tumblin says at any moment, any of us could suffer hearing loss. And if passed by Congress, Allie's act would be able to help. It helps them thrive in their communities. You want to be able to fully be able to participate, and these devices would allow that. Allie's act would also cover people who need cochlear implants, another very expensive procedure. Her mom, Melissa, also created the nonprofit Ear Community when Allie was just six months old. They help people with cognitive oral osteophysia, microitia, and other forms of hearing loss get hearing devices and support.